Shut up and release Zoramel. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I took the key from Wrath. Wrath? I told him to guard the wheel and not talk to anybody. Who are you? Uh, I'm here to join your gang. I'm just a ship's cook. <laughs> we made a solemn pact not to let anyone else join the gang. I can remember it clearly, even though it was... Three months ago? What? Can no one in this gang keep things secret? I suppose you think you know why you've taken over the bloated float as well. To ransom your prisoners, right? To find the golden galleot. How, how did you know about them? Uh, Rat told me about it. No matter. Once I've taken care of you, we'll scuttle the ship and be off to our safe house. No one will find us there. You mean in Breville? I was just there. Uh, again, you have surprised me with your knowledge of our operation. I suspect Lynch didn't check all the in rooms before we departed. That's right. You must have been hiding down there and made your way up here. How did you get past Minx, Roth, and Lynch? Uh, I've killed all of them. Impossible. You defeated the three of them alone? I, I'm humbled by your skill. And fear that assaulting you would lead to my own quick demise. Please accept my surrender. Here's my blade. Please, no treasure is worth my life. The bloated float is yours. Yeah, yeah I remembered. All right, Ormel. Thank goodness you arrived when you did. I feared that I'd be thrown to the slaughterfish. Cool, Blackwater Brigands. If you get Selena safely locked up, I can tell you all I know. I won't feel safe. Until you do that. I don't really care if you feel safe or not. Right now, I really just want you to talk to me. Can you just... Thank goodness you're... Yeah, whatever. Celine. Now that she's surrendered, please escort her to the last room on the inn deck. We'll lock her in there until we arrive at port. Alright, well... Come on, Celine. See, there's Lynch. See, I was told. I told you, I killed him. Selene is now safely locked inside a room on the in deck. I should return to Ormil and let him know, so we can finally get the ship home. The door is sealed and cannot be opened. All right. Well, we can't let her go. We can't like kind of like betray Ormil and get her out, so now we can steal it for ourselves. Now that is locked up safely below, I think we can all breathe a little easier. I can't thank you enough. Black, uh, Celine. I feel much better now, knowing she's locked up. Yeah, sure. I sealed her up. She's gonna be out here in, like, two seconds. Watch. Uh, Blackwater Brigands. Well, I'm afraid all of this was my fault. They hijacked the bloated float because of me. Business has been waning of late, so I invented a story. I fashioned a tale about a golden galleon that the previous owner hid within this very vessel. It was to be a statuette made completely of gold. At the time, the idea was quite clever, I thought. I figured the law would draw more curiosity seekers and adventurers looking for the treasure. What could the harm be if while they were here, they bought a drink or two? My business has increased quite a bit since I leaked the story. Well, obviously, I was mistaken. It was a terrible idea. I'm just glad that no innocents were hurt. I wouldn't want to have their blood on my hands. Sure, anyway, man. Sorry to ramble. You better get below now and rest until we arrive safely at the Imperial City docks. I'm glad that you were on board to help rid me of them. If you hadn't been here, I don't even want to think about it. Celine no longer holds the bloated float. Once we get to the Imperial City, I intend to make sure she is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Yeah, but you, technically you should just let her go, though. She didn't steal anything, and it was, and you just admitted it was your fault. I'm just gonna sleep for an hour. <laughs> we sleep for five hours. That's ex uh, and it takes an hour back. What? How long did it take for them to get out of that far into sea? 
You're awake. Good. I didn't want to disturb you. I suppose you're wondering what I did with Selene. Not really. The authorities at the Imperial City took her off the ship as soon as we docked. I was also informed that there was a reward for her capture. Cool. Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Unless it's here, of course. Selene. She was a ruthless woman. And I'm glad she's behind bars where she belongs. Cool. Plus yes, plus. the float is quite a vessel, don't you think? The only functioning tavern and inn on the water in all of Cyrodiil. Uh... Bought it maybe ten years ago when it was decommissioned. Had to gut the whole thing to make room, but kept it seaworthy. All the furnishings were built inside the ship, since they were too big to be carried on board. Spared no expense. Cool. Farewell, my friend. Okay. I've been looking for you. Have you? I don't have. You said you've been looking for me. I have things to do. Well, screw you too, then. That's that's weird. I've been looking for you. I hate you. Okay. Weird. I'm just gonna do this, and then we're gonna go do it. Actually, how much of the quest reward is it? Like, like, how much gold can you get out of it? I think we only got, like, what? 20 gold, I think? I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention either. Okay, we're gonna get back to the sewers. We're gonna go do that quest, because it's really quite easy. Uh, also, I did write on here how much it takes for us to do... To get a armor usage. So we have almost one. As soon as we finish well this quest, we have two armor uses then. The first Well the first one I'm giving it to us because we went through that entire journey and we nearly used up all of our resources. We better get something better out of it. Mind you, we did technically get the armor spell, but that's not really useful in normal terms. So that's why I ended up making us get an armor usage. So we went all the way to get the armor, and we also got usage out of it. And then if we do this quest, we will have a second usage, which means that we'll actually use it. Which means I think we'll definitely use it right off the bat, I think. In the next session. Definitely. Hello, mud crabs. You are now dead. No. I missed. Of course, because I'm in third person. So aiming's a little bit weirder on that front. It's fine. Is my silk glimmer already broken? What did you guys do to my silver claymore? Of course. Okay, what does the Blackwater Blade do? Absorb fatigue. I like how it says absorb fatigue 20 points for one second, when in fact it could just say absorb fatigue 20 points and it does the exact same. Okay, there's where we need to go. I know a long time ago, there was a bunch of Oblivion videos of showing, like, easy ways of getting Daedric armor at, like, level 20 or level 23 or whatever kind of thing. I remember this area was one of them that a lot of people were recommending to do it because of the fact that, like, it's easy to just do it. And I'm trying to sort of get there as quickly as possible if we get a level up I'd be happy but I don't think we're going to be able to get a level up the Roxy Inn yeah I remember this it was get your character to level 23 I think to what do I owe this pleasure? and I think it's well? this person Fantastic. Thanks for asking. I think was this yeah it was this person 
would have uh, Daedric, and then these two would have, like, I think... Uh, what was it? It was... Those two would have, I think, glass. Talk to you. I don't know how to make this request any simpler, but to put it bluntly, Raylan the Greyfinder must die. Who is this Raylan the Greyfinder? A few months ago, that witch of a necromancer decided to inhabit Mothrock Cavern just north of my inn. Oh. I don't know what she does in there. Frankly, I don't want to know. However, I do know that after she arrived, the woods at night became unsafe. Okay, then. I've seen undead of all types walking in the dark woods near the cave entrance. Now this area is getting a bad reputation, and my business has waned. Oh, no. Every day, it seems the number of undead increase. If someone can get into the cave and kill Raylan, maybe we can stem the tide. Her death pays a handsome bounty. I hope you'll take advantage of the opportunity. Okay. Yep, okay. So something else that I want to do, and this is legitimately the reason why I want to get that thing done as quickly as possible, but I'm trying to also make sure that there's no errors or issues or anything like that with it. So the thing that I'm talking about is that I want to add something from Nerum uh, to my mod, specifically from our adventures within Nerum. Uh, there's not really a problem with that. The only thing is that uh, I want to create a sort of, I don't want to say journey book, but more so like a diary kind of thing uh, of all that we did within Nerum. And I want to put it in my mod, and then, like... So, though, like, uh, when you activate it, you get to get, like, from what my perspective of playing Nerum was kind of thing, as through the eyes of the character kind of thing, which would be kind of cool. And now, as Drathus, we will go down this cave. Find this Raylan Gravefinder. While killing a rat in one hit. <laughs> cool. Hi, skeleton. I'm dead. Do I have torches at all? So though the one at least I don't have my I do, awesome. Yeah, next session I'll definitely, or before the next session, I'll definitely do my idea. I think that's going to be very helpful. Or at least I'll get a version of my mod with it. Can you unlock? Thank you. That was a lot of topics to be used. Hello, Raylan the Grave Finder. I'm gonna find your grave. Well, dying and apparently going into mine. Who said that? I've slain Raylan the Grave Finder. I should return to Maylene at the Roxy Inn and deliver the good news. Oh my god, there's a necromancer in here! <laughs> I did not notice there was a necromancer in here. No. No. Wait, if you're an adept, you should have a staff for me. No, you don't have a staff? What's wrong with you? Come on, staves are really good. Dang you. That's mean. Alright, so back to what I was saying before. Uh, about we can do an exploit. So the thing is that when your character is at a certain level, dungeon loot actually semi-changes. So you're able to, yeah, you're able to get the, like, the Alembics and all that. 
uh, but only to during when you actually go and grab grab from the boss chest pretty much now this location is one of the okay that's weird I don't remember it ever doing that whatever we're now magical apparently we can now make plates fly up apparently So when you want to go and grab, let's say, the, uh, I think you can find, what is it? You can find, I think, Master Alembics at, like, level 17. Like, you can find the Master Apparatuses at level 17, which is incredibly overpowered. But the only thing is that you have to get it from these boss chests. Now, the cool thing about this area is that the door is right there. The boss chest is, I think, this one? Or this one it's one of the two and you can quickly go back and forth and try and get it like we have an alembic which is awesome but let's continue exploring this area because we can probably get some really good items down here and we're gonna have a rough time but it should be easy enough hi I have a fire spell, so we should be able to do at least some kind of dock damage on them. 